Well, I've come back to look at the greenhouse and particularly to set up the water butt, but I just noticed it's fallen off its perch because it's got no water in it and we've been very blowy the last few days. So I want to get it so that it's at least got some water in and that will keep it weighted down. So I'm going to patch up something to connect to the end of the gutter and at the other end I'll just patch up something to close the gutter off. So the water butt is back upright and this pipe is going to connect somehow to there. And what I've got is I've got a piece of extension hose which will fit inside that pipe and then hopefully that I'm going to fit it inside here with a bit of rubber to kind of um, make it fit a bit better. So the rubber is going to be cut off this old inner tube and this, it's an old dishwasher rinse aid, cut the top off of that, make it like a funnel, connect it somehow to the guttering. So I've wrapped some rubber around the end of the hose pipe and poked it through there. Uh, so it's sticking through into there. Hopefully that's, it doesn't need to be perfectly waterproof, it just needs to be waterproof enough to let some water down this pipe. So I'm going to cut the top of this to fit the guttering. And I've taken the stickers off to make it look a little bit less tacky. So we've got, I've cut a little notch out of here so that will sit quite nicely onto there. And I just need to kind of tape it. I'm going to tape it over the top, tape it to the, um, to the upright and see how that goes. It'll just at least keep it in position for a bit. So there's my bodged up attachment. It's sellotaped to there. Uh, it doesn't look, I don't know, maybe it does, does look a bit naff. But uh, it should do for a bit. I'll uh, see how that goes and I'll uh, just tape up the other end as well. And quite fortuitously, it seems that this end piece from that bottle fits quite nicely on the end here. So I might put a bit of rubber around the end just to seal it a little bit and then uh, take that up as well. That's this end cap on there. It's a looks like a dead butterfly there. So I'm just going to try um, getting a watering can and uh, filling this up with water and seeing what happens. Actually you can see that this gutter is not exactly flat because there's quite a lot of water still in this bit which is obviously lower than this end which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but let's put some water in and see what happens. I've got my watering can. Let's just put some on. Oh god that's heavy. Okay and something is going down. Obviously it's collecting some of the gunk but it is going down the gutter. We'll have a look at the other end and see if anything's coming out the other end. It's, uh, oh, it's reached this end, the water's reached this end. It's not absolutely gushing out. And actually I can look all the way down there and you can see the water is flowing along and actually pouring out the other end. So that looks like a success even if it is a bit messy looking. So we might actually collect some of the water when it pours with rain again. Final couple of adjustments, uh, a bit of bubble wrap shoved in the hole there so that it kind of blocks some of the uh, bits of twig and uh, pine needles from going down and an extra little bit of um, tape over the top to stop things dropping in and falling down. And I've got rid of all the pine needles that had already gone through. But I think that's working okay so I just have to wait for a bit more rain now.